Yo, what it is ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Pete. Welcome back to Paranormal Sight, The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. Now I won't lie to you, I've been trying my damnest to get this Elgato capture card HD 60 plus S for like the past few days. I have tried my best so hard to get this to work and I just couldn't get it to work. So at this point, I just said, forget it. I want to record. I'm just going to go back to my bread and butter. Another issue I had is the fact that the game, I, I could not get the game audio to come through the computer. It would come through my TV fine, but I could not get it to come through my computer no matter what. So I said, forget it. There is no reason to keep trying to force something that obviously will not work right now. Probably because of this computer. But, you know, for this cheap capture card that I'm using right now, it does the job pretty well. And plus, it actually has better frame rate than the more expensive Elgato. So, take that what you will, I guess. So, this is the, the actual title screen. We didn't have this before because it just kind of threw us in the game. So, okay, this is where we left off. It's been about a week. So, I'm trying to remember a lot of things because honestly, I don't remember a lot. So, let's see. Which of the seven mysteries are closest? I'm in the Kinchicho, Kinchicho area right now. The haunting clappers are on the other side of Oyoko River, just over Shumoku Bridge. The foot washing mansion and the ever burning lantern are around South Wadigasui Street, past the train tracks. And further along Oyoko River, I found the beckoning light and Ho'onji Bridge. Those three places are closest, I guess I should start there. Got it. So once again, we are Shoko Okie, and then we have Yoko Fukunaga, who is passed. And we have Takumi Yumioka, who is also passed. Uh, that was our fault, even though I didn't do anything. And then the storyteller, who we have no idea about. Okay. So we can think. I'll collect the other curse bearer's souls before dawn and bring Yoko back to life. I like to comment again, as I've said multiple times in the last episode, I'm sure he doesn't even know Yoko that much, but he decided to wholeheartedly throw himself into this in order to bring her back to life. Dedication, I guess. I should go to another location connected to the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. Okay. There's nothing around here, yeah? No. Oh, also, um, the third game, the second, well, I guess there's third game. The third game in the, uh, Famicom Detective Club, Detectives Club is coming out later this month. They're coming out with the demo for the first episode today, actually, I'm recording this, I'm recording this the 20th at 12.20 in the morning. Um, I was thinking about getting the demo, but then I thought about it, I haven't even played the first two games yet. So why would I even do that? Because I, I wanted to record the demo because they did actually like, I think the first three chapters throughout this month. But um, yeah, there's no point in recording that if I haven't even played the game yet. So we're going to wait. I'm probably going to go ahead and buy the actual first, uh, first two games first, and then we'll go from there. They have not come out with the physical version though, unfortunately, just like this game. So it's going to be digital only. Good thing I got a pretty beefy SD card somewhat, so we should be okay. Let's go to the Shumoku Bridge area first. Start from bottom to the top. Shumoku Bridge area. The Shumoku Bridge is supposedly where the bell from the Haunting Clappers story used to be. I wandered around here for a while, but I didn't see anything interesting. The only thing I found was what looks like a hundred yen lighter someone threw away. I don't know if curses are vulnerable to fire, but maybe I'll find a use for it. 100 yen lighter acquired. Hmm. Okay, so we can't even look anywhere here. Well, let's think. Of course, I didn't just find a lighter. There were a ton of cigarette butts strewn across the ground too. Seems like the place is well in need of some wooden clappers to warn about fire. Anything else? Nah, that's it. Okay. 
All right, then let's move. Let's go to South Warikasui Street. Both the foot washing mansion and the ever burning lantern are from this area. This late at night, even a road as big as this one is silent as a grave. Is it just me? Or is it oddly dark around here? Could this be? Okay, so I can look around here, but I couldn't look around the last area. Okay, surroundings. I know it's past midnight, but it still seems oddly dark around here. And it's feeling just the same as before. What is that? Uh... Could this be? Is this darkness the word work of a curse? Have I already fulfilled his conditions to kill? Should I get out of here? Or should I stick around and figure out just what I'm dealing with? The fuck is that? I don't know, but it immediately gave me chills. <laughs> there! There's something over there! Is that a, a curse echo? A curse of the seven mysteries given form? I knew it. There's a curse bearer around here. Uh huh. Is that curse echo what's causing this darkness? It doesn't seem hostile. Is it telling me to come closer? What should I do? No, approaching it would be stupid. I should keep my distance. Let's let's think. Decision time. What should I do? If I sit here like this. I risk fulfilling the conditions for that person's curse. It seems like I could still back out if I want, but do I want to? No, yeah, I'm scared. Um. Okay. Who was that man? I see. I feel like that was spoilers a bit. Screw it. Let's get closer and see what happens. That's gonna happen if I just sit and wait. Let's check it out. Vibration. 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 Oh, it's a headless dude. What the f- Huh? Whoa. Turn it! Now what? This isn't a curse doing this. Somebody's pulling me in. Ah, oh, that hurt. It looks like I'm inside a building. Did it toss me in here? I can't see squat. Is this the same darkness from that curse echo? Hmm. I'm completely enclosed. It doesn't seem like there's even a window. There's no telling which direction I'm facing. Hmm. They got me. This has to be the work of another curse bearer. Is this darkness because of a curse echo? Are they trying to trap me here? I guess I should be glad they haven't killed me yet. But I don't search, start searching for a way out. Oh shit, I can't see a thing. If only I had a source of light. Oh, you mean like the one that we just picked up? That's right! I still have the lighter I picked up earlier. Perfect. It works. Now I can make out my surroundings a bit better. What the? S something? Sorry, I, I, I peaked the audio. Dread, he's got a light. That ruins everything. Is someone there? Are you a curse bearer? It's over. Time to get out of here. Wait, he's running? Was he right here this whole time? This is my chance. Ah! Dad didn't do it that time either. What the? What? Why? <sighs> that was a close one. I didn't catch a glimpse of the curse bearer, but it seems like I'm alright. 
The cursed stone of the Whispering Canal has gained 30% soul tricks. So we got an increase of 30%. This curse must have had something to do with light and darkness. Megas would be the ever-burning lantern. So there's a connection between the seven mysteries and the way their, the way their curses work. That might be useful to know. Hmm. Okay. Back to think again. The ever-burning lantern is the curse responsible for this. I guess maybe its conditions is something about me being in total darkness? It's a good thing I had the slider. It seems to have saved me. Is there someone down there? Maybe not. There are still other mysteries lurking around, but it seems like this place is clear for now. Oh, maybe I'm tripping. I should have sworn there was someone down there, but maybe I'm maybe I'm tripping. I am playing this late at night as well, so maybe that's not the greatest idea, but you know what? It's okay. Hmm. What happens if we go back? But we still didn't deal with anyone here. Doesn't seem like I'll make any more progress investigating the haunting clappers. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Alright, never mind. I thought something else would happen. Time to go to Ho Onji Bridge. I'm here. Oh, there he is. That's the guy that was on the on the thumbnail for the save. I'm here at Hoonji Bridge, the location linked with the beckoning light. Hardly anyone's around. Not surprising, seeing as it's past two in the morning. Feels like the whole world's gone to sleep. The other side is an industrial district. And further down from the bridge is a temple from which it gets its name. Hoonji Bridge has a pretty unusual structure. The ends are stone, but the middle is steel. The Oyoko River beneath it is actually a canal that was dug during the Edo period. Edo, Edo, I... I always feel dumb trying to remember that because I sometimes I don't remember. Uh... I think. The beckoning light should be around here somewhere. Is it a man? Someone standing on a bridge, silhouetting themselves against the sky. Let's observe. Oh, hello. Wait, wait, wait. Fine. I'll go first. What the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa. Hmm. I see, I see. Interesting. Well, now, this is so, uh, this is a surprise. Huh? I just wanted to observe you, man. Who are you? If you got the wrong guy, just say so. I just wanted to observe you, dog. What? Why do? Why do you run up on me like that? That's crazy. He's a flamboyant fellow. I wouldn't bet an eyelid. Eyelid? Eyelid, if this were the inner city, but he stands out like a sore thumb in these parts. Along with one super shady looking guy, only a curse bearer would be around, would have any reason to be around here at this time. Maybe I should talk to him. Well, I mean, he ran up on me, you know, but you're sure. Come now, new one heard to at least tell me your name. Dude, I don't even know you. What are you doing here? <laughs> Very good. You shouldn't give up your name so easily. Especially not to strangers. Gone is the age where might made right. Nowadays, it's information that rules the world. You do well to remember that. You're the one who I asked. Your name, your address, your phone number, your age, your occupation. Your personal information is much more valuable than you might think. All you have to do is just look up the name online, man. It's pretty messed up. All your information is literally right there. 
Where are you going? Well, you should treat those things with care. So I guess you don't plan on telling me you're tell me anything either then. You can call me Richter Kai. Private detective. But didn't you just say not to Never mind. You say you're What is <laughs> this JoJo pose, bro? <laughs> Golden Wind? You say you're a detective. And that's correct. I'm a man who deals in secrets. Don't expect me to share any more information with you though. I only told you that so we can have an understanding. Richter Kai, perfect detective. Person of interest. Give me an update. Richter Kai, private investigator. The such man the Shogo Okie ran into at Hoanji Bridge. Okay. A detective. Really? Just like that? He may look ridiculous, but he knows what he's doing. I don't want him finding out about me. I don't think he's a curse bearer, so I'm better off just letting him, leaving him alone. What's a detective doing around here? Working, and that's all I'll say about that. I could ask you the same thing, though. This seems like a strange place to stop. What brought you here? Oh no, to look at that, a little save, cheeky save, oh no, how could you, me, how could you, oh no, oh no. Why should I tell you? Why should I tell you? I see. Clearly you didn't stop here just for the chance to talk to me. Which begs the question, what did you expect to find here? Maybe this bridge simply appeals to you. But then, why would you go out of your way to drop by in the middle of the night? It's none of your business. No, don't worry about it. I think I'm in the wrong place anyway. If you ever need a hand, I'll be happy to help. It's all in the day's work for an investigator's extraordinaire. Thanks. I'll try looking somewhere else for now. Really? Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be of any more help. So, does that mean we should leave? It doesn't seem like he has anything to do with the curse bears. I should move on. If he's been here for as long as he says, there's a good chance he's seen something. I don't think it's worth asking. He seems like all kinds of trouble. So we just move? Ah, that's right. I meant to ask. Do you have a light on you? A light? You mean for cigarettes? Well, I've got this cheap one I picked up, but that's it. Oh no, this'll do nicely. Are you sure? Okay. Anyway, I should get back to work. Once you're gone, of course. Is there a reason I can't be here? Of course. My work is top secret. Okay, so that's everything. Alright. Goodbye! Okay, I've had a look around this area. I should head somewhere else now. Where to next? First, around Midoricho Park, at the end of South Warikasui Street, is the Taiko of Sugaru. North of there is a school called Komagata High School, at the location of the Fool's Procession. Should be around here. Let's do another cheeky save real quick. Well, let's go to the... Let's go to the park. It's closer. Middle Rico Park. Oh! This is Middle Rico Park. Location of the Taiko Sugaru, one of the seven mysteries. Huh? Someone's there. Two men. One middle aged, and the other a young adult talking to each other. There's a good chance that one of them could be a curse bearer. I'll try to scope things out without being spotted. To pick up their conversation from this distance, I'll have to focus in and watch them for a while, I think. If it looks like I'll be spotted, I'll quickly hide behind a tree to move out of line of sight. What is this, a minigame? 
Oh my god, it is. No good. I can't see what they're doing if I stay hidden like this. Huh, they're supposed to be around here, but I don't see anyone, boss. No need to get ahead of ourselves. I bet we see something before the night is done. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. The, the heartbeat thing is not doing me any favors either. Maybe you're right. But still, the seven mysteries... Huh? Is there a noise from behind us just now? No. Hmm, never mind. Just my imagination. Yeah. yeah. Just your imagination. Please, please. I swear to God. Please, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. I should be okay now to listen to No, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. But does the curse really let you kill someone with an object like that? Hmm? Sorry, something's bugging me. I'm gonna have a check back there. No, please, no. No, nah, nothing. I guess this place is just keeping me on edge. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. <sighs> oh, he's gonna be right there. <laughs> mm, he's gonna be right there. Mm. Dude, I'm doing it. Shut up. Oh, you f I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it, you fucking, you fucking asshole. I knew it. 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 Aha! Uh -huh. Sorry, sir. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? Can you fuck off? <clears throat> they found me. Oh, you two are police officers. Haha, <laughs> people often say we don't look it. Sorry if I stuttered you, you don't care. I'm sure there's no problem. But we'll have to ask you some questions as procedure. Oh, I'm June Ario. I'm from the Metrop uh, Metropolitan Police Department. Investigative Division. June Ario, newbie detective. And this old guy with the scowling mug is Chief Inspector Tetsuo Tsutsumi, my superior officer. You wouldn't guess from that frown, but he actually has quite the sweet tooth. Ario. Nope. <laughs> oh god, how am I gonna. What kind of voice would I even give him? Ario, quit blabbering. I guess, I don't know. That's all to, to me. I guess we'll see. Persons of interest. That's all to, to me, Chief Inspector, the gruff police detective that Shogo Okie met at Midorijo Park. Dune Ario, detective, the fresh faced police detective that Shogo Okie met at Midorijo Park. Uh oh, they're detectives. They're not investigating the corpse that was here, are they? No, I'm still fine anyway. It's not like a curse could show up as evidence in a police investigation. I can hardly believe how calm I am. I just need to keep a cool head and not panic. Bro, I was- Oh, his hands went down. Oh no, I don't like that. I always imagine detectives as blunt and aggressive. But I guess there are some pleasant ones too. He's as intimidating as I'd expect a veteran cop to be. First that private detective, now police detectives. When today of all days? Now first, can you show me some ID with your name, address, and occupation? I'll be okay. I'm better off just going along with it. Wow, you work for Hihako Soaps. I hope that I heard they've been Blech. I heard here they've been raking it in lately. That true? I don't know much about that. I'm just a recent hire. People are loving that new hair product you have. I use it all the time myself. 
Thank you for your patronage. There we go. You use hair products? Good with the times, boss. Guys nowadays all use these things. Isn't that right, Mr. Okie? Uh, yeah, sure. We even make men's cosmetics now. That's so. What a time we live in. Sorry. Boss is the kind of caveman who thinks using only a bar of soap for all his washing makes him cool or something. I don't think that. I just don't care enough to use anything else. Actually, we do have all-in-one soaps for just that purpose. There are plenty for people like you, but... Uh... Those aren't good for you, though. Those... <laughs> what? 20-in-one soaps? Those two-in-one shampoos and stuff like that? Shampoo conditioner? Yeah, that's not good for you. Ha! Huh. Here, there, Ario. That's what I'm talking about. You should put out more of those. I don't know about that. Aren't you riled up? Now I'll leave the questions up to him. I got nothing to ask. Okay. I have to figure out whether or not that curse bear is first. With two of them, the bear could be either one. Could the other already be aware that their friend has a curse stone? I feel, I feel like they said something about a curse while they were talking just now. If they were talking about a curse here of all places, it is highly likely they have something to do with a curse bear. Either way, if I'm gonna do it, I have to get them both. Saving one alive would be too risky. Though I still don't know if I can use the curse on two people at once if they both leave at the same time. Let me get some water. Alright, sorry about that. I won't lie. I, um, tuned into a stream that I'm watching on the side. That way I kinda don't get too distracted, I guess. Or, like, don't. I don't know. I don't know, I do this weird thing where I watch something on the side and that way I kind of, my brain can kind of like look over if I'm feeling like I'm losing like disassociating at times and stuff like that just so I can kind of like focus back in and the, uh, the streamer I'm watching is doing a, um, guess that, uh, anime from the opening I think is what it is and one of the openings that came up was for Hitamari Sketch uh, I love that anime I honestly want every single season on Blu-ray, but I haven't gotten to that point yet, but... Gosh, if you guys want to watch like an anime that is just like, slice of life, but also kind of comedic and just an adorable show, just watch Hitamari Sketch. And honestly, <laughs> it's a comfort anime for me now at this point. Um, but let's continue. Anyway, Mr. Okie, what is it that you're doing here? Um, actually... I'm searching for the Seven Mysteries. Have you heard the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo, Detective? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of them. We were just talking about them a minute ago. A girl I know is into them. That's how I got interested. I see. I seem to remember even Midichori Midoricho Park had one of the mysteries associated with it. What was it again? Oh, shit. Okay, um, no, it wasn't the Whispering Canal, no, I know that. Is it the full space? No, that's, no, 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 it's the Taiko Sukaru, right? Yeah, okay. Ah, that's right, the Taiko Sukaru. This whole area used to be the residence of the Sukaru, a clan of samurai. So that's why you were hanging around in the middle of the night. Discover anything interesting? No, nothing. Though I admit, I haven't been looking into these things too hard. Right. I think I understand your situation. Thank you for your answers. Now it's quite late, so you'd best be heading home. Oh. It's like that? Now I'll leave the question to him. Okay, let me think. Hmm? Something wrong? You're free to go. Uh, excuse me. Since you detectives are around, does that mean something happened around here? <laughs> well, we are investigators, so it is indeed related to a case. But don't worry, there's no threat to civilians whatsoever. We'll be here a while longer looking into things, but you can rest easy. A while longer, huh? That's not good. This may be my only chance. I see. Well, I'll be going now. Take care. 
Hmm? We're done here. Go on home. Oh, okay. I guess that really is it. While I'm fairly sure one of them is a curse bearer, getting to them to leave will be hard. Maybe I should go somewhere else before they get any more suspicious of me. Yeah, let's... let's biggity biggity bounce. To the one place that I can go. Komagata High School. Front gate. Here I am at Komagata High School. Hmm. Let's see here. Ah! Oh shit, maybe I should have looked at anything first. Someone's there! Huh? Whoa, what the? I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but did you just climb over the school gate? School gate is closed, but climbing over looks easy enough. I should I I can see the main school building past the gate. Is a girl inside the school? The school is supposedly on the former site of a daimyo's residence, where he encountered the fool's procession. It is now at the center of a quiet residential area. Komagata High School, a co-educational municipal high school with 632 attendees. Its name is commonly shortened to Koma High. Although it opened as Honjo First Middle School in 1943, subsequent revisions to its enrollment policies until it changed its name, becoming Komagata High School. The school strives to instill in its students with the three S's of Sumida. Sound morals, social responsibility, and strength of spirit. The success has been limited. Plagued by delinquency, it has been forced to turn to temporary employees to compensate for its high staff turnover. And its sports clubs face challenges with its inner city location and small campus. Its traditional culture research club is thriving, however, even issuing regular bulletins in collaboration with the local records office. Hmm, okay. Check the gym again. A large gymnasium looms silently over the ground. It's even more imposing in the dark. Is that it? I'm assuming that's it, because I think that's all I can look at. Uh, yeah. I think. A student appears appearing suddenly at the location of the fool's procession late at night. Clearly something unusual is going on here. And it involves this curse. I can't write it off as evidence. Hmm. A girl in the school uniform stopped looking down, came climbing over the front gate. She must be a student here. Hmm? I think she's holding in her hand. No doubt about it. It's a curse stone. This girl's a curse bearer. Mm. What's going on? Why are you at school this late? Um, well... I'm really sorry. I'm in a big hurry now, so I gotta go. Hey, wait. Too loud. And dead. Huh? Curse? Why? Can't be. Uh, Mio, I'm sorry. Blech. Oh. Oh god. No, I don't like that. No, no, I don't like. Oh, why is her tongue out? The curse of the stone. The curse stone of the Whispering Canal has gained 36% soul dregs. So what is it like? Those two together were like 66. Uh, uh, I killed her. Yes, I got a curse bear. This is working. I just have to keep it up. Man, this is crazy. How many more do I need? One, two. Choco Oki A3 AM. This is crazy. This man is lusty with power now. Alright, on to the next one. 
first the one-sided reed by Rio Goku Bridge, then the evergreen beach at the former Yasuda Gardens along the Sumida River. Finally, Sumida River. Okay, let's go to the. What are they in order? I guess it doesn't really matter, no. It's the Evergreen Beach, which is where the Suda Garden. Okay, then let's go to the Evergreen Beach. Former Yasuda Gardens. The former Yasuda Gardens. There was some kind of incident here recently, so the entrance was closed off. But it was easy enough to sneak in, since there are no guards at this time of night. However, it feels weird being in these magnificent gardens after hours. There's not a visitor or groundskeeper in sight. The Rio Goku Public Hall is also on the grounds. Its eye-catching structure makes this place feel even more otherworldly. A lush green park administered by Sumida City. As is common in traditional Japanese gardens, its large central pond is shaped like the character of Four Hearts. The paths that crisscross its grounds, lined with some uh, with stone lanterns, are perfect for strolling while appreciating the foliage or bird watching. The gardens once pulled in water from the Sumida River so that its pond would ebb and flow with the tide. An novelty in Edo, which had begun filling in the bay to support its expansion. But the practice has been discontinued in modern times due to flood prevention measures. Hmm. The question is, what do I do about this? What do you mean this? Oh! God! Why are you zooming in? This game needs to stop. So, have you decided what you're going to do? With your... Oh, so precious. There's stone. Yeah. As soon as I snuck into the gardens, a woman inside called out from behind me. Oh. I've been waiting for you. I have a crystal. Their sudden proclamation had me at a loss for words, so the woman continued. I have you in a position where I can use my curse on you whenever I please. If you hand over your curse stone, I will at least spare your life. In that moment, all I could squeeze out in reply was, let me think about it. So she was still behind us. That is so creepy. What the fuck? Which brings us to now. Alright. Hey, I don't want to look at you anymore. I just want to look around and shit. You know, what's that? No, I just. It's so weird, man. I just, why are you here? Why were you behind me? Damn it! Did I expose myself somehow? She said she can use her curse on me at any time. I guess I've already fulfilled its conditions. It could be a bluff, since she seems to have information on me. It's probably true. I can't hand over my curse stone. I need to figure out how her curse is activated and find a way out of here. For now, maybe I can get some information by talking about something that catch her interest. Our eyes are open. Let me see some. Okay, let's save again. I only have five saves. Oh. Oh no, I only have five saves. Well, time to override slot one. A woman in her 30s. She has a refined air about her, like she was brought up in a family of high social standing. But I also sense a shadow hanging over her. I wonder if it has to do with this place.
Don't tell me you still haven't made up your mind. Such an indecisive man. Wait, um... I might hand over my curse stone, depending on certain things. Will you hear me out for a moment? Sure, go on. If you take my curse stone, what are you going to do with it? With your curse stone? It's brimming with soul tricks, isn't it? It's already killed so many. No. No. <gasps> How does she know so much? I like to avoid such crude methods myself. Seven. Oh god. What condition have I fulfilled since the moment I stepped foot in here? Something that I'm still doing, even now. Think, what could it be? Maybe... Something I have on me? If I suddenly strip naked on a spot, I just might be able to avoid her curse. No, that would take too long. She'd probably kill me before even I even got my shirt off. Plus, I look like a creep. The other possibility is that the condition has to do with the location we're in. If being curious what activates the curse of the Evergreen Beach, then I'll continue to meet that condition as long as I'm here. In which case, there's no escape. She had to activate her curse before I ever got away from the gardens. I'm sure I'd recognize it after setting it off. It's not like I get to do things over, you sure? Okay. <laughs> not right if you say so. Okay, so let's do the Rite of Resurrection. You want Soul Drake? That means you're after the Rite of Resurrection, too. Not that I'm trying to compare circumstances, but can I ask what led you to this? Oh my. Do you mean that if my situation is more dire than yours, you'd give your curse stone to me? Sure, I consider it. So tell me. Liar. Huh? You wouldn't hang your fate in something as superficial as that. Nor would I. Six. Hmm. That's not what I... Ugh, that's not what I wanted to click on. So if I can't figure out her curse, I'll have to set off my own. I don't see how I can make her leave, though. Not while she has the upper hand. All I can think of is to make her use her curse. Damn it! But there's no way I could counteract after she curses me. Mm. If we're going to talk, we should get to know each other better. My name is Shogo- Stop. Huh? Let's not do that. Alright? Oh, she did say stop. If I know your name, I might start to feel sorry for you. And I and have a harder time killing you. Y you would? Don't you think? Five. Can you take soul dregs from other curse bearer's stones and add them to yours? Who knows? But... You have to admit, it's worth trying. So basically... You want soul dregs, but still the ones others have gathered because you don't want to get your own hands dirty. You're half right. But half wrong too. Huh? I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I just want to end this with as little trouble as possible. Understand? Four. My son. What? He'd be in sixth grade now. If he were still alive. Ah. When I'm one of the big kids, I'll help look after the first and second graders, he'd say. He'd always had a strong sense of justice and responsibility. He wouldn't stand by when he saw other kids being bullied. He'd defend them. Even if he was no match for the bully himself, he'd often come home in tears. 
but only because he was sad that he wasn't strong enough to save others. He wanted to be a policeman when he grew up. Okay, okay, I get it. I've heard enough. Oh? That's enough for you? Yeah. Hearing such a sad story. This makes me all the more sorry that I haven't changed my mind. I see. <laughs> so even after what I told you. Three. How do you know you haven't already set off my curse? Go on then. Use it. If you, if I had, you could have activated it without all that bluster. And yet, here you are. <gasps> Damn. Does she already know about it? Or about that student from before? But if she already knows what would activate it, she wouldn't hide it. Because if you know what activates my curse, there's no way you would set it off yourself. So she must not know yet. I still have a chance. Listen. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. About what? Talking like this instead of killing you immediately. It's just a whim of mine. What I mean to say is that you were never in a position to bargain. Two. You still won't hand it over. One. Okay, so I'll be honest with you. I know what to do here. I was just sugarcoating it. But, um. I want you guys to see what happens when I lose. So. You actually can't kill me, can you? And that strange countdown from before, too. It's all just a bluff to threaten me. I don't give in to threats, so why don't you give this up and if that's the case, give it a try then. Only one more now. Let me tell you the number. Zero. Such a shame. What? This is the end for you. Farewell. No! Ugh! Fire? Fire! It's so hot! It Birds! Fire! Fire! Ugh, of course! What it was! Ugh! That guy... Damn it, he... Must have been following me! But it's... Already... Too... Late... <sighs> Shoko Okie deceased. My, my, Beat. You seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. It was not all in vain, however, as you finally realized how the curse is activated. Fear not. You may make as many attempts as you please from the conversation with the lady. Very well. Remember how to ward off the curse when you return. But bear in mind, Choko Okie has no way of realizing it himself, so you must react for him. Oh, speaking of which, I don't know how I kept forgetting this, but last episode I was talking about how the name thing that the narrator was talking about, how he said a different name. So Uzu underscore Beach from the first episode, that is the name of my my uh, Nintendo uh, profile, right? My Nintendo Switch profile. So depending on the console that you play the game on, they read the name that is under the console ID. So like the Switch, uh, the Xbox, whatever, like the, the PS5 or PS4, uh, your PC, whichever console you're playing the game on, it reads the name of the profile of the, the, uh, the console. So if I were to, uh, I don't know how it would be for like Steam. I don't know if it would read my Steam ID or if it would read my computer, but hopefully it's just the Steam ID, not the computer, because that's scary if it's a computer. So I think it just reads the ID of whatever console that you have. So that's why I said that. Don't scare me again. 
Okay, so I know what to do here. You guys see the uh, the hundred yen letter, right? So it has a tiny bit of fuel left. You can throw it away. And the reason why you want to throw it away. Huh? Throw away the slider. Why did I suddenly get the impulse to do that? Yes, really throw it away. Not sure why, but here goes nothing. Hundred yen lighter discarded. Hmm? Look at her face. What did you just Why? Why throw away you throw your lighter away all of a sudden? So the reason why she's getting upset like that is because you remember how her her spirit is the burning man, right? So the uh what was it called again? I don't know why my brain's blanking on on the actual thing. This, the mystery that she has is the Evergreen Beach. So the Evergreen Beach, that one, is it's fire. It's a Burning Man, right? And the lighter that we have, it is, it's an accelerator. So you burn that, and the fire is obviously going to increase, which is why we caught on fire. You know, it's not it's just not just one thing to just be touched like that, but having the lighter on us just accelerated the fire, which literally burned us from the inside out, from outside in, until we died. So that I, I pretty, I'm hoping I used the right word in that with accelerator. I'm just trying to piece, just trying to piece it together. It's it wasn't that great. As, it's uh, science. I was gonna say math. It was not that great when it came to science, but you know, I I, I did okay. Huh? Uh, well, that just kind of felt like it. Oh, look at her face. Why is she losing it all of a sudden? Does that lighter have been what fulfilled the condition of her curse? But why? How did I? How could you? Ah. Goodbye. No! This can't be. My sweet chi. Goodbye. And the cursed stone at the Whispering Canal has gained twenty-five percent soul drift. All right. Well, so only one place left to go: Rio Goku Bridge. Hey, yeah. Uh, quick question for you. What the? Sorry, this is so sudden, but I've got to ask. You don't mind, do you? Are you a curse bearer? What? No. The canal with a one-sided reed grew is supposed to be around here somewhere. But now there's no trace of it left. Is this his curse echo? I believe so. Rio Goku Bridge. The large bridge here is called Rio Rio Goku Bridge. Crossing the river leads into Nihonbashi Bakurocho in Chuo City. Oh, Chuo Street. Mmm, just a radio future. Mm. Rio Goku Bridge. The second oldest of the many bridges. Spanning the Sumida River behind Senju Ohashi. During the Great Fire of Merike in 1657, which destroyed, destroyed 60 to 70 percent of Edo, many drowned in the Sumida River, attempting to swim away from the flames, resulting in the building of bridges to be a major focus of the reconstruction, well, reconstruction efforts. Although this bridge was simply known as Ohashi, for a great bridge, when it was first erected, the people of Edo took to calling it Rio Goku Bridge, or Two Nations Bridge, due to its location between the provinces of Musashi and Shimosa, and this eventually became its official name. Over time, the wide roads at either side, originally intended as fire breaks, became popular locations for street performances and other events. The bridge was rebuilt following the Great Kanto earthquake and still stands to this day. I do hope that my voice is actually Alright, with uh, 
with how the recording is because I'm speaking very low. I'm trying to so hard because it's late at night. So I'm just hoping it comes out alright. Is there not? Oh, I knew it. There is someone else here. What the? How did you? No, don't mind me. Yutaro said he wants to talk. You better answer quickly before. No, you know what? Why would he out himself as a curse bearer like that? Don't tell me it has something to do with activating his curse. The music is so good. Oh my gosh. Making it obvious that he's a curse bearer himself. What's he trying to pull? Maybe he's confident that he can activate his curse before I activate mine. Gotta be careful. How should I respond here? Maybe I should be honest. I'm a curse bearer too. Yeah, I'm a curse bearer too. I appreciate the honesty. I just want to have a nice, calm little chat. The name's Yutaro Namigaki. My curse echo is the foot foot washing mansion. Young curse bearer, Yutaro Namigaki. University student. The young man encountered a Ryo Goku bridge. He didn't hide the fact that he was a curse bearer. A chat. I'm not going to curse first and ask questions later. Just because we're both curse bearers. I've got a little more class than that. Yeah, about that. Um, apparently we don't. I hope you're smart enough to extend me in the same courtesy. Alright. Fine. Chat away. Thank you. Good to know I'm dealing with someone reasonable. Yutaru Namiga. A young man, probably younger than me. Maybe a college student? This guy is quite the bold character. He's got confidence, I'll give him that. A chat between two curse bears. What's he trying to pull? La la la. Alright, let's talk. What do you want? Right, I'll cut straight to the chase. Will you join forces with me? Join forces? To gather soul dregs? Yep, you're using your curse because there's someone you want to resurrect too, right? In that case, it'd be more effective for the two of us to work together than to do it all yourself. Think about it. We could split all the work and we'd have two kinds of curses at our disposal. Working together. I hadn't thought about that before. Can the soul dregs in one curse stone be moved to another? That's a fundamental requirement for this to work. Well, we'll have to test it. And I can't do that alone either. I see. Do we really want to give up our... Huh. Yeah, screw it. Why not? Let's see what happens. Alright then. If working together helps us both get what we want, maybe it's not a bad idea. Thanks. Glad to be dealing with someone who could think things through rationally. The way he says this is so weird. But there's something I need to know in advance. Tell me. Oh, his eyes. How many soul tricks do you have right now? <sighs> right, I have some, of course. I am more than competent, after all. I'm asking you how many. I'm at 1%. But don't worry about it. My curse is so easy to activate, I'll have plenty in no time. But you haven't managed to get any on your own, have you? I'm at 92%. Huh? Say what? <laughs> That's the amount of soul tricks I have for my curse, curse stone right now. What? Wait, are you serious? You're not even close to being on my level. I'll keep gathering soul tricks on my own. Let's forget all this joining forces business. You've got to be kidding me. Huh. I call your bluff. Don't think you could scare me off so easily. I see. That's too bad. If you don't feel like talking, then you leave me no choice. I even gave you a chance to come out of this alive. No shame, you're just gonna waste it. What are you- What the- Is this the voice of the cursed echo? Among the seven mysteries, the resentful memory of the foot-washing mansion is particularly strong. You can't block it out by plugging your ears. As soon as you hear the voice of a cursed echo, it's the end for you. Keep that last sentence in mind. 
Damn it. We just got crushed by some feet. That's crazy. Some people would pay to be stepped on. That should happen for free for us. <laughs> Without all wanting it. My, my beat. You seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. There, this is mere conjecture on my part, but you have a way to evade curses that no one else is capable of, do you not? Fear not. You may make as many attempts as you please from a conversation with Yutaro. Yeah, sure. Very well. Remember to ward off the curse before it is activated. But bear in mind, Shogo Okie has no way of realizing it himself, so you must react for him. So, remember how I said about the talking, right? About hearing it? Right here. You can't block it out by plugging your ears. As soon as you hear the voice of my curse echo, it's in for you. So, I kind of wish I didn't remember this, but my memory of this game from watching it from Nico. I did not finish the whole thing, but certain parts of the game still come up in my mind. And this is one of those parts. You remember how... Earlier, I was talking about the voice volume and how this was important in the first episode. So this is what you do. And the reason why is for this. Because they don't even talk, right? There is no voiceover. I see. That's too bad. If you don't feel like talking, then you leave me no choice. I even gave you a chance to come out of this alive. Real shame you're just gonna waste it. Who are you? Among the seven mysteries, the resultful memory of the foot washing mansion is particularly strong. You can't block it out by plugging your ears. As soon as you hear the voice of my cursed echo, it's the end for you. Damn it. Hmm? A voice? I don't hear any voice. What? There's no way. And yet there he is. Perfectly unharmed. How? What's going on here? I don't completely understand it myself, but his curses and conditions don't seem to have been met. This is my chance. Yutaro, your curse won't work on me. I'll let you off easy today, so get the hell out of here. You son of a... Fine. I'll just be on my way then. Mark my words. I'll make you regret this. Also, I like that long sleeve. That is, that is so like 80s, 90s. I had an uncle. Actually, I think a lot of my family members had uh, long sleeves like that. I wish I had one of those too. Ah, bye, you throw. Oh, why? How is this? Notice how she turned around. She left. The curse of this whispering canal has gained 20% total. Damn so we're over 92%. We're at 112. Thank God. Now I've gotten the last of the soul tricks I need. Was that just coincidence? He wasn't able to activate his curse for some reason. Things are going well. Luck must be on my side. Oh, let's, uh, I don't actually know if this is necessary anymore after this, but I'm just going to increase the voice volume. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm getting tired. All right. It's about time to wrap up. Oh, I should check my curse stone. I should have gained a lot just now. What the? Ah! Oh. Oh, he just died. Story chart unlocked. That's how he dies? Well, I guess it is karma, no? Pardon in the interruption, but I'd like to take this chance to tell you about the story chart. This is the screen which will appear when you open the story chart. From here, not only can you see the overall structure of the current story, 
You can also progress along different branching routes by playing past stories over and over again. We should we could call this exactly the power that Shoko Okie had sought after. Normally, you would have been able to use the story, story chart feature freely. However, due to certain circumstances, it has been locked until now. From here on, you will return to the story chart from time to time at breaks in the story. At those times, you will choose for yourself which, which story you wish to continue next. Okay, just controls. Oh. Use the story chart button on the map. Well, should I read all this? Because I don't think I've read any of this before. I mean, it's not necessary, right? But this one, sure. Use the story chart button on the menu to quit playing a chapter and return to the story chart. If you quit about well, half midway through a chapter that you haven't finished, you have to restart again from the beginning. Completed chapters can be resumed from various points at various points in a chapter. The game will not return to a previous game state when resume. If you return to the story chart by using the suspend command that appears at certain points, it is the same as quitting and returning to the story chart. There are two phases that must be completed to fully finish a chapter. If a chapter is finished while there are still tasks to be done, the chapter will not dim and will remain lit up. Best of luck on your journey, Pete. Oh, thank you. By the way, should you use the story chart to replay a past event, do you know what you must do, and where? Of course you do. After all, you have gotten this far. What triggered the Yoko Fukunaga set off that led to her dying the way she did? You've come this far several times, so I have every confidence you will be alright. As long as you make sure not to do that thing. However, like with the lighter and the voice earlier, Togo Okie has no way of knowing that himself. Ah, on that note. I am curious. Have you determined how many people Shogo Okie has killed with his curse? How many people has killed with his curse? Well, let me look at the persons of interest real quick. One. Two. Oh, it didn't give me the other people. So, five, I think, yeah? Because we have one. They have one. <laughs> I see, I see. So that is your understanding of things. As it turns out, the correct answer is... Five, like I said. Ah, that is correct. I am pleased to see you have such a solid grasp of events. I think you will be just fine. Please continue the story at your leisure on the story chart screen. Well, thank you. Okay, so, this is Shogo's part, so obviously down this way, and to his death. So we can start back here again, and there's another route that will lead that way. So, instead of doing that now, we're probably going to do that in the morning, or during the daytime. So thank you all for watching the second part of Paranormal Sight, The Seven Mysteries of Hunter. I hope you enjoyed. This is a late night episode, with episode 2. I'm hoping my voice came out well. The, uh, you know, besides the fact that I had to lower it because it was a later night. But I still hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! We are